Welcome back, another day, another project. Still in phase one, organization. Um, it's not quite as cold as the other day when we put the workbench together. Uh, it's starting to rain now and heat up a little bit <coughs> to melt the, the ice, but it's still pretty cold, got a little heater going. Um, right now I got kind of everything piled up in that back corner, or most things, there's a bunch of crap here still. I got a lot, a lot of stuff piled up in that back corner. So I can put up the shelves I need and then start pulling stuff box by box, piece by piece from that corner and put it where it actually belongs. This shelf here that I have tools and stuff on, I'm actually going to replace with a metal cabinet, which is what we're going to put together today. So here's the Amazon listing I ordered it from. As I record this, it was about $250 and this is how it was delivered. Now, if you're a hoarder like me, you'll find a use for these. Alright, so I got everything laid out. Just gonna verify all the pieces are here. Then we'll get going. So the doors are pretty self explanatory. The side panels and the back panels are all labeled A, B, C, D. Uh, there is a little bit of damage on this one. I have to bend that. I have to bend that straight. Pretty simple. It won't be hard because it will be still or anything. <clears throat> These top and bottom plates are pretty self-explanatory as well. They are not labeled. And then the shelves are not labeled. <clears throat> so on here, so there's one G, the rest are I, and then one H. So if you look. So this one is thick on both ends, and those are the eyes, so those are the ones that go in the middle. This is thin on both ends, but it's also notched out here. That's going to go on the bottom there. And then the top one is thin on both, I'm sorry, thin on one end, thick on the other end without any notches. And that will be the G on top there. So right after I filmed that, I turned the page and it explains the differences there. So there you go. Here's one of the damaged areas, nothing too crazy. So it straightened up a bit before I put it together. Which is three screws for a panel, one there, two there, and then one at the bottom. If you're using a power drill, you just want to make sure not to over tighten it. So I don't tighten these up all the way with the drill. Um, I come back after the fact with a handheld screwdriver and, and do the final tightening. So now both of the, the back panels are attached to the sides. Now to link them together, this edge here just slides right in here. 
It connects all the way down. There we go. Almost done. It's been really easy to put together. The only issue I've had. So once you get to the top and bottom plates, it has you lay it down. And the only issue I've had, maybe it's just the angle of it, but this screw in the center, it wasn't catching. Um, that's the screws they provide. So I just had to use one of my own screws here. And then it caught and tightened up just fine. That's it. <clears throat> so for one of the last steps, it has you put this top plate on. <clears throat> and then the actual top piece, as you put it in at an angle, screw these three in and have it at an angle and push it up. Um, it's a tight fit, so I just had to give it a couple, a couple good hits to get it to pop up. So spacing out the shelves now, um, about 12 and a half, 12 and a quarter um, will give you even distance throughout and you can just change it up as you need it. Alright, last thing to put the door on, you have this piece here with this little clear washer that I almost lost. Hook in. And just line up the bottom with the pin, and the same with the top with the spring operated pin that it has attached. So my first impression is that it's a pretty good uh, cabinet. Uh, my only critique would be, you know, that it's, you know, it's, it's not super heavy duty, you know, compared to, to one like this that has like this, the, the full hinge going all the way down, a lot heavier. Um, and the price, it's on Amazon right now for 250. I swear I paid 220 for it just a week ago. It, those prices go up and down. Um, I was hoping to be around 200 but if you look online, this is one of the cheapest ones, so really that's probably right. Uh, but I'm always, I'm always wanting to get one for, try to get something for free. I got this one for free from my work. Uh, they replaced, because this is not fireproof, so they replaced it, and I'm like, hey, I'll take that one. I'm always on Craigslist free, trying to find something good um, that I can use. So if this was $200, it'd be, I think, that's a better price range than 250 But there's lots of pros. Um, it, it was from Amazon, so the, the delivery was quick. I guess for somebody, the pro could be that it's lightweight if you're moving it around yourself and trying to, like, I built it over here, but i got to take it over there to put it against the wall. Um, instructions are really good, and it's real simple to put together. So I would recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. Today is Christmas Eve as I film this, so i got to get back inside and get <laughs> things situated for tomorrow. I hope everyone gets some time off to spend with their family. So please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on this journey to make this shop into what I want it to be and hopefully can build some cool stuff. But Merry Christmas. God bless.